Welcome to Talking Voiceovers with me, Gail Guslin. Today we'll be interviewing Tony Jean Erasmus, a voice artist, yes, but also a stunt person. Listen up as Tony Jean draws parallels between the stunt industry and voice acting. I do a lot of Polish ads and Australian ads and American ads and, and European. I'm very pale, guys. <laughs> seeing all those faces again after essentially a year of just nothing. <laughs> it really makes you realize how much you miss being around people and how much you get. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Which is surprising <laughs> for me. <laughs> I understand you completely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just shows that there's work for, for everybody oh, yeah. all over the place. It's not just about commercials in South Africa. You can do all sorts of no, things all no, over no. the place. So if you're on uh, DSTV and you check out Star Life or Z World, you will hear me as a lot of people from the like the old grannies who wander around trying to control everyone's lives to a lot of the five-year-old boys. 90% of the time, if you see a child on a Indian soap opera, it's me going, come on guys, we're going to do something cool. So it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> I think my, my first, first ever stunt job was when I moved here, I got a couple of days on Dominion season two, being a, a random hench person looking aggressive with a weapon. I think that was like my test round of like, will she look like an idiot on a set? Can we trust her with a weapon? When you're doing a fight scene in stunts, you've got to vocalize to let the other, other person know where you are or just to, to act, you know, you, when you get hit, you're like, <coughs> and that kind of thing. And so when I had to dub it, I could watch the fight and kind of see where it was going and instinctually react as if I was doing the fight. And, you know, she hits the ground and you're like, <coughs> This was just a snippet of Talking Voiceovers. For the full episode, be sure to find us on YouTube and on your favorite podcast platform.